गाइस वेलकम टू द साइंस ऑफ माय सेल्फ प्रियम कंसारा एंड टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोना डिस्कस अबाउट द एग्जामिनेशन ऑफ सीमेंट सो लेट्स सी हियर हियर आर द कंटेंट्स व्हिच विल बी डिस्कस अबाउट सो फर्स्ट व्हाट इज सीमेंट मैन्युफैक्चर ऑफ सीमेंट मेजर कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ सीमेंट ग्रेड ऑफ सीमेंट एडल्ट्रेशन ऑफ सीमेंट एनालिसिस ऑफ सीमेंट which we will discuss physical test chemical test and microscopic analysis next cement basically what is a cement cement is a binder a substance used for construction that sets hardens and adheres to other materials to bind them together cement is mixed with fine aggregate produces mortar basically mortar is uh substance which is clay like substance which forms by mixing of cement water and sand which is used for masonry or with sand and gravel produces concrete so here manufacture of cement calcareous that obtained from limestone obtained from mines argillaceous materials like clay bauxite and iron are the commonly used raw materials the manufacture of cement manufacture of cement comprises of four stages first extraction of limestone from mines second crushing of limestone grinding and blending of limestone clay or bauxite and iron ore or laterite mix in right proportion and sintering in rotary till at a high temperature of 1400 degrees celsius 100 degree celsius to form clinker third grinding of clinker with gypsum to form cement gypsum is added to control the setting of cement fourth storing in silos testing packing and dispatch from the final process of manufacture manufacture of cement portland is another name of cement that is manufactured by crushing milling and proportioning the following materials first limestone limestone or calcium oxide that is obtained from limestone rocks chalk shells shales second silica is obtained from sand old bottles clay or argillaceous rocks third alumina it is obtained from bauxite recycled aluminum clay fourth iron it is obtained from clay iron ore scrap iron and fly ash with gypsum it is bound together with limestone so here you can have a brief introduction or a brief overview about from uh, digging the limestone rocks to taking it to primary crusher then passing it to secondary crusher but it will form fine ground limestone and then passing it to proportioning equipment where it will proportion sand clay then passing it to grinding mill where it will grind sand and clay then again it is passed to the preheater where it will again proportion the mixture then the mixture is passed to the kiln rotary tank tank where it will be heated then after heating it will form it will form clinker clinker are lumps or nodules small in size then it will pass to the cooler where it will be cooled and then gypsum is added for the setting of cement then it is proportioned in the proportioning equipment then grinding is finished then it is pass for the further process here major components of cement here are the names formula and percent of composition so first dry calcium silicate 2 cao si2 composition is 30% dry calcium silicate 3 cao si2 composition is 40% dry calcium aluminum ca3 al2o3 Al2O6 or 3CaO Al2O3. Composition is 
इलेवन परसेंट एट्रा कैल्शियम एल्यूमिनियम फेराइड फॉर्मूला फोर सी ए ओ ए एल टू ओ थ्री एफ ई टू ओ थ्री कंपोजिशन इज इलेवन परसेंट सो वट द ग्रेट ऑफ सीमेंट इंडिकेट सो ग्रेट मीन्स फिफ्टी थ्री फोर्टी थ्री थर्टी थ्री विच माई बी रिटर्न बिसाइड द नेम ऑफ द सीमेंट That indicates the compressive strength of cement in newtons for one millimeter square area. That is, 53 grade means a compressive strength of 53 newton per millimeter square attained after a curing period of 28 days. Similarly, 43 and 33 grades may be defined above the further. Adulteration of cement. so it is defined as the addition of visible or invisible contaminants to the cement that alters the standard composition set by the manufacturing company of cement adulteration of cement can also be defined as the adulteration of components in the cement that changes their standard chemical compositions in contrast to various and unobservable changes observable changes like color texture etc and unobservable changes like the addition of certain macro elements in metals adulterants it is the substance that is used to adulterate the cement some adulterants used in adulteration of cement are blackstone furnace acids sand etc so here are the types of adulterants of cement first black stone it is bluish gray in color second furnace acid it is silver gray coarse and gritty third slag it is light gray in color fourth desert sand very light red is yellow color within 2 to 3 mm particle size with brittle edges river bed sand it is rounded particles and may contain clay or other impurities in saturated yellow color here is the difference between hydraulic and non hydraulic type of cement hydraulic cement is a mixture of limestone clay and gypsum which are burned together under extreme temperatures whether the non hydraulic cement is this material used to make non hydraulic cement include limestone gypsum plaster and oxy chloride Hydraulic cement starts to harden instantly and can be completed is in as little as few minutes if applied to the small areas or a few days for bigger projects. Non-hydraulic cement on the other hand takes longer to harden which delays the completion of projects. Hydraulic cement can harden while in contact with water. Hydraulic cement's ability to harden under water has made it the main type of cement used for those types of projects. Non-hydraulic cement needs dry condition to strengthen. So here are the different types of test categories: first physical test, second chemical test, third instrumental analysis. So in physical test. Here, primary analysis and preliminary analysis are conducted, in which color test is taken, texture test is taken, pH of the cement is taken, microscopic analysis is taken, and smell test is taken. In fineness test, sieve test that is you can see in the second photo, uh, from fine mesh at lower and larger at higher, you can see, and sedimentation. so here are the different types of cements which are which will differ in color differ in texture etc specific gravity test in specific gravity test a uh, cement is compared with compared to the volume of the cement and the cement is compared to the volume of the water to determine adulteration in given sample apparatus used is specific gravity bottle setting time cement that is the initial setting time to the shape formation the final setting time to fully unworkable 
methods are used to find the initial and final setting time of cement. Soundness test Soundness test of cement means it doesn't undergo large volume change after setting. Large changes in volume produces cracks, disintegration, distortion, ultimately leading to failure. Effects of sound depends upon quality of cement apparatus. Here, leach at layers apparatus is used. Consistency test. This test is done to estimate the required water quantity to form a normal consistency cement paste. Defined as the percentage of water required for the cement consistency. Here, Vicat apparatus is used. Second, chemical test for cement. Here, heating test. Here, we should take from 0.5 gram of sample that is of cement on steel plate and heat it for 20 minutes. If the color changes, then the material is adulterated. If the color doesn't change, then the sample is pure. Second, thymophthalene test. Take 100 to 150 mg of sample that of cement, add 1 to 2 ml of water and then add 2 drops of thymophthalene indicator. If the color changes to blue, then cement is pure. If the color does not change, then adulteration may be present. Acid titration method To determine how many percent of cement sample is present in sample as it is made up of calcium for adulteration example determination of calcium by edta it means how much quantity it takes to change the color from pink to red blue color instrumental test microscopic analysis we have compound microscope for comparison stereo microscope electron microscope in electron microscope we have two types that is scaling scanning electron microscope second transmission electron microscope in chromatographic analysis we have two types uh, thin layer chromatography and gas chromatography in spectroscopic analysis we have atomic absorption spectroscopy neutron activation analysis and x-ray diffraction here you can have the overview in the photographs about SM and compound microscope. So thank you guys. Uh, please don't forget to like and like the video. Subscribe to the Science Hub and stay for the further. And stay for the further updates.